How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Closing lathe uh, projects. So this is my Hall Effect tachometer probe or sensor that uh, uses a magnet that will be mounted on yeah, that will use a little thin magnet here uh, that will be mounted on the spindle and uh, you know you run with a very small clearance and as it passes it creates a pulse that is read and translated into RPM well this here is 12 millimeter by 1 uh, millimeter pitch uh, thread uh, so it's really kind of a kind of an odd size even in metric here's the uh, holder I'm going to make uh, to mount that tachometer hold it out a little bit uh, it, it's going to consist of two uh, round pieces one's uh, going to be mounted on a cover rod that comes out it's long stud that I'll be able to lock slide this on and lock it on with two set screws I'll weld on another piece here that this will be threaded for the uh, the sensor right it'll thread in there and then the wire there'll be a hole here for the wires to come out now uh, and then I'll have a lock, the lock nut, the standard lock nut can go on top of the sensor and lock it against the top here.
27 are injured. I'm taking a look at the hospitals. A suspected shooter, a man who lives locally, identified as 64 year old Stephen Craig Powell. Now I'll be able to screw that uh, sensor right in there. The uh, single point of that. There we go. A little flat there on the one side. Then I'm going to put that down against a, a parallel and two set screws holes. Weld that on there like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a groove all the way down this, pretty much. So when I I can put in the, uh, I'll be able to thread in the sensor with the wire on the bottom, and uh, that way we have plenty of room to manipulate the wire and let it twist around and stuff as we thread it in. That's the plan, and we're going to weld this together. I can just lay this in there and I'll still be able to turn this and thread this in like that and then we'll put a lock nut on the outside and uh, we'll be good we're we'll gonna be able to adjust it that's the mount uh, welded together really hot so <laughs> and uh, you can see the groove for the wire Will it cool off and see how she goes on the lathe. Over here on the back end of the closing, this is the back top mount stud for the top cover. This is where we're going to be mounting the tachometer sensor. I already uh, JB welded the magnet, it's still tacky, but uh, it's uh, curing on the top here of the spindle. This part here of the spindle always turns. Uh, that's why I mounted on there. That way, whether it's in back gear, um, forward, reverse, and it will always give me a reading. That's the best place to put it is right on the spindle if you can. Now the the sensor right here comes with about two feet of cable attached to it, three conductor, and so what I did is I had some plugs and receptacles for here. These little they're like a cannon plug kind of thing um, seven conductor but I uh, so I only use three 
in this cable here but I put I'm, I'm made up this cable and so it plugs right into the bottom of the panel which makes it pretty easy uh, to disconnect from the lathe if you have to do some down low here right there uh, this little sheet metal cover uh, fills in the gap here from the of the cover with the headstock I punched a hole and put in a chase nipple that this is just a half inch chase nipple the sensor the sensor here fits right through it so I can make up the cable and you could still get it out real easy it just slips right through uh, that way you have a big enough chase uh, for the sensor without having to unsolder and de dewire it so you can see how this this goes together here this is just uh, threaded on with that with that slot right now there's a light on that intake indicates there's power to this so wiring's right <laughs> anyway so that just slips in there I only have about a quarter inch worth of threads there I machined the rest behind it out so I have plenty of room for spinning the wire so that it just spins right on just twist it right around the wire you're not twisting the wire that way And then we'll uh, got a couple lock nuts. We're gonna just we're gonna double jam nut this on. Now that we got our distance, drop it. There we go. Double jam nuts. I'll slip that on. Line it up parallel with our. Sensor. Like that. There's the tack readout right there. And I'm just going to spin it by hand. And I'm not turning it very fast, or am I? <laughs> but anyway, that, that works just fine. There we go. All right, too low. Anyway, there we go. Uh, Seems to be working, we'll speed up a little bit. Look forward, and of course we'll do a reverse. There we go. And I use the hydraulic one to change it also. I think we have a big success on the old uh, tachometer. So that's done. And what I did is also I've added a switch. So the for this position here, it's a tack and the auxiliary cooling fan that position is just the tack and over here is just the fan because uh, you don't we really don't need that auxiliary fan uh, on a rare occasion maybe in the summer that way we have an option we don't have to have it on if we don't want anyway and I've added a uh, and on the side there I have a small hole so I I had a little uh, snap in uh, 110 light and I just wired that in, just popped it in the hole, uh, half inch hole, 
and so I have a power on light when the panels whenever the panels plugged in uh, this will be on so here's a little uh, close-up of how this is uh, the magnet coming around over here well here I'll zoom in a little bit and oh I have about 20 or 30 thousandths uh, clearance just enough to make that pulse you can see the light pulsing uh, showing your it's working and giving you a pulse but enough to clear it and get your pulse and it, this is uh, really quite rigid uh, on that stud this is this is this is a good mount and then the wire will be back here tight I'll tie wrap this down I'll put a little wire there's a screw at the top here for the sheet metal and I'll put a wire retention here and then on down out the hole and I'll probably maybe put something down lower too so that wire doesn't go anywhere especially with all these gears flying around So that's about it. And we should have plenty of clearance here uh, with the cover going over. At least that was the intention. So this is all inside. I won't put on the cover yet. I still have to change. I'm going to change the uh, variable speed belt. And we'll get that down in a day or so. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please buy a scribe. Uh, I welcome the support. I have brass ones, brass round, brass sta or stainless round, and uh, three hex stainless left. That's it. So, um, order one up. Order one up for Christmas. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching.